morning. So, week three. It's Wednesday. And I can't really see, but I'm back at the hospital. So I had a phone call at five o'clock last night saying, have you had a phone call yet about coming in? Uh, we want you to come in tomorrow morning for your operation. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. I said, no, I'm really sorry. I said, um, I've got an interview tomorrow at 11, so it's not really going to work for me, is that? And I said, I'm not entirely convinced it actually needs operating on. So I'm more than happy to come in at half seven for you to have a look and reassess it. But I don't think you're going to need to operate. And I'd more rather just confirm that than... Uh, you know, go ahead with surgery, which may or may not be actually the right thing to do, which, hmm. So, yeah, let's go and see. Let's go and see what they say. And then I've got an interview at 11 that I have to get back for. But I'm here, I've got my book instead. In fact, I started reading this book. It's fucking amazing. So, unstoppable. All about the biohacking life. Um, marginal gains and all. So yeah, let's go and see. Hi everybody, so a little bit of an update. Um, I'm gonna be having surgery. So, wasn't the intention, but wish me luck. Okay, so I'm just back out. For some reason this eye is droopy. My arm feels really numb, it's really heavy, it's really, really weird. Everything went well. Um, they've stitched together my ligaments back around my thumb and also I think something to do with a joint capsule as well. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can show you. Everybody. So I thought I'd just to give you a little bit of a hashtag Friday feeling. Um, apologies, it's probably quite late. It's like tea time now, I guess, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, half five. Um, but I just wanted to show you that I have not got dressed all day, and that's very unlike me. Um, and just show a little bit of an update. I'm not going to keep banging on about this because it's boring myself about it now, but... Um, just under that I've had a lot of people ask us to check in that I'm alright and I am. I'm just just fed up, obviously. Um but it just kinda highlighted to me that how unexpected things are always around the corner and it doesn't matter how much you try to control stuff, not everything's gonna go the the way that you want it. Like even on Wednesday when I went in for having a an assessment for my thumb. I was very adamant that I would not be staying for surgery. I was like, I'm coming in at half seven, I want you to check it, I don't think I need surgery, and I've got an interview at 11 o'clock, so I'm off skis. You know, I need to be in and out, basically. And, um, yeah, he, the surgeon had a pretty compelling story himself, and you turned that one, so. Um, just goes to show that you can't always have it your way, right? And because of that, it was really unexpected. Like, I'd not really had chance to let everything sink in at the fact that I'm going to be stuck in this now for at least four weeks. Four? 
15 weeks. Um, potentially then a splint six to eight weeks after this is taken off as well. So potentially up to 12 weeks of no training, which it won't be happening. We'll be finding ways around things like that. Um, but it just kind of highlighted today, you know, it's today I've actually felt a little bit more with it, a bit more like normal um, of actually wanting to maybe come on camera thinking, oh my God, um, back to normal, my mind's back in a better place. And it just makes you realise actually how easy it could have been for me to spiral into a shit place. But because of the strength of that is, you know, what I've developed up over time of how to bounce back from things like this is that actually having the surgery on Wednesday didn't really actually phase me. It was, I think it probably doesn't help that I do things like that for a job anyway, but, um, you know, just, just casually sauntering into surgery, into theatre, and I'm like, yeah, just do whatever you want to me, yeah, I'll just watch you inject them in anaesthesia down my arm through ultrasound, yeah, show us the screen so I can have a look. What are you doing to me? Where's that needle going? Um, but... And then coming home, and I think the, the only time I've really been upset was probably yesterday morning when I went downstairs, finally managed to get dressed, and you actually realise how much you cannot do. So obviously when I got back on Wednesday, like my arm was still numb, it still felt really heavy and sore, so I didn't need to do much. But having that feeling, that movement back on Thursday, yesterday, it was just a case of, right... How do, how, how do I get my pants on? How do I change my knickers? How do I get my socks on? How do I hold a fork? Importantly, how do I even make my breakfast? Because um, usually I'll have like two um, fried eggs in firelight and some bacon with some mushrooms. And how do I cut mushrooms in my left hand? How do I hold them when I've got, well, I'm supposed to have my arm in my sling? Um, I'll pretend it's in a sling. Um, so yeah, it's just those those small little things. But then you know what? The way that I see it is that by the end of this is that I'm going to have actually increased coordination and motor pathways in my left hand that by the end of it, I'd hopefully be able to write a decent sentence with my left hand. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm going to try and challenge myself, see what I can do in, um, let's say, let's call it nine weeks. It's not going to be 12 weeks. It's not that. Um, so yeah... Like, I could get really fucking down about it, but I'm not. If anything, it's just kind of showing me probably how weak and how uncoordinated this hand is, which I need to work on. It's working on the limitations, the imbalances, and the weaknesses that I've got in my body. So, hey, lefty. Um, and that's going to be my driver for it. And this isn't permanent. It's not going to last forever. This is purely just a small fucking chapter of life. So, yeah, it might mean that I can't get on stage this year. But it's always next year. Like, I'm not going anywhere. And if I want to be at my best, my best doesn't include this necessarily. So to rehab properly, I'm actually, I'm holding my thumb up. Rehab properly, number one. Number two, <laughs> be in a good place, again, with food. Make sure that through this period of time that I don't slack on my food, everything stays on point. Do what Megan's telling me to do. Um, and just three, keep active. That's one, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't even know if I can. See, that's what I mean. I can't do things on my left hand properly. Yeah. So let's try the lefty challenge. Let's try and become a left-handed person by the end of nine weeks' time. Um. Nothing's permanent. Nothing stays the same, and that goes for the challenges that you're gonna face, but also the good things in life. So just roll with the punches. Stop trying to control things, embrace it, take the good out of everything that you can and uh, see what you learn. Like, because at the other end of this, I'm going to come out a hell of a lot stronger and it's how you've got to see everything right. And if you're not, then start working on it. If you need to find out how to start working on it, hit me up, let me know if there's something specifically. Um, let's see if we can put like a bit of a strategy in place. But yeah, peace out. Oh my fuck. <sighs> Thumbs up and peace out from me and have a good weekend. Adios. Good evening. So we are at the end of week three. Yeah. And as 
you will have seen following the video, I had my operation on Wednesday, the unexpected operation, and you know what, it's not been too bad. Um, I've been coping pretty well, the pain Wednesday, Thursday was pretty bad, Friday eased off, Saturday it was again eased off, but then today it's been pretty nervy, I'm not going to lie, it's, I think it's possibly because I'm trying to do more than what I should be doing. Um, so yeah, I've not taken much pain medication for it either today because I'm just kind of cautious of the fact that I'm taking uh, something with codeine in and not really supposed to take it any longer than three days. So, I'm having a bit of time out on that today. It is the end of Sunday. The sun's starting to set. I think it's going to... My other phone's died. I'm doing this on my work phone. Um, so yeah, off to the hand clinic. On Wednesday next week doo -doo -doo, to see I don't know what they're gonna see because these work and I don't think they're taking this off so I'm not too sure what the appointments for Um, however on a side note just wanted to appreciate so I've only got one coat of mascara on this morning and I've been using this and it's dead cheap from Amazon it's like 17.99 and usually I've used Revitalash but this, I'm going to spin it around with my hand. If you just search uh, long for lashes, it comes up. Really, really good stuff. And I haven't used it religiously every single night. However, um, it's done a really good job. And my eyelashes were quite stubby before. And apparently, it's really hard to actually get the impact of actually how long my lashes are. Um, but yeah, mega impressed. And there's something else. Oh, yeah. So uh, this weekend I have oh, wobbling all over. Uh, spent the time to interview quite a few ladies as well, just in terms of what a potential business idea I have moving forward might be, a bit of a package. And also gone through the first cohort of submissions for our Supreme Affiliation Scheme as well. And um, I said to the girls earlier, because they've been helping me, both Kirsty and Steph, as mentors, and I'm just overwhelmed, like, the effort that everybody's put in. Um, and you can see that, you know, a vast majority are so genuine, and just the passion that they show, even though, that you know, there's an element of shyness, maybe, and a bit of um, unfamiliarity of being in front of a camera, just... Oh, I'm so, honestly, I'm so, so happy of the submissions that we've got. Um, like, I'm not seeing this as an ambassador scheme. I want it to be so much more because I'm sick to death of all the bullshit out there. That things need to change, things need to get better for the health and fitness industry as a whole. And I'm seeing this as my chance. I'm hoping that I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, it is only going to be, you know what I can afford to do at this point, you know, is going to grow and I do envisage that I'm just going to keep growing and growing it. Um, but there's a lot of, there's a few big ideas up in this noggin and um, yeah, I'm just, I, I can't wait to have something in place ready to, to unveil to everybody and especially those that are going to be involved, um, those, those chosen, chosen few people that will be involved with us moving forward. Um, and it's not all about you know, flogging the product. Like, yeah, obviously it's, it's an important part of, you know, getting the brand seen, but it's then what that brand represents and what it leads on to and what else we can deliver as a brand. It's not just, you know, solely about getting as much clothing out there as possible and flogging a discount code, because I've been through it and I've always been selective with people that I've worked with and I kind of feel a lot of it's much of a muchness. Um, it's very much the same and and that's just from scratching the surface of the ones I've actually bothered to work with. So yeah, exciting times ahead. Um, mm, so many questions in my head about how I'm going to do it again, but <laughs> it will all pan out, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, everyone's had a fantastic weekend. I'll be checking in as normal tomorrow. In honesty, I've done sweet FA for the last week. 
um, mainly because if I go walking, they start throbbing. I don't like, oh, it sounds weird, but I don't like walking with my sling on because if really I can't walk properly, it just stops that normal rhythm and momentum, I guess. Um, and it's now hurting my hand to hold this in my left hand. <laughs> And it's only a little iPhone 5 SE or something, a little good old work phone. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I had, I did go down in my weight on Thursday this week. I dropped to, let me have a look, 80.1 kilos. If I'm anywhere near that, I'd be quite impressed. I mean, I've not obviously detoured too much of food. I've not probably eaten enough purely just because I've been sat so busy at the computer and because I've not been moving as much, I've not felt it necessary to. Um, yeah, we'll see in the morning. Possibly getting some more news as well from work tomorrow, which is kind of nerve wracking, but we'll take a zop tonight. I help with this sleep. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.